Hey there, let's play Paranormal. This is a indie game that got funded on Greenlight. I'm sorry, it got funded on Kickstarter. It's trying to get into Greenlight. Um, it's basically the Blair Witch Project meets Paranormal Activity, the game. I noticed that you had a Welcome to Steam pop up in the corner, though. That's true. Uh, that's because this game runs in uh, Unreal Development Kit, which I have installed on Steam. So even though I'm running this off of Desura, it launches up Steam to launch the game. Let's do the unabridged version of this game. It's uh, Friday, July 1st, Abridged just makes it like half as slow. Hello, my name is Mattel Clark. I'm an artist, and I've come to believe that my house <laughs> Sounds is so haunted. annoyed by it. Lately, I'm an artist. Going Fuck, the house is haunted, Jesus. So, I've set up cameras around my studio, and I've got one here. And I've started recording is his, things. Is his to try and house and furniture people, huge, or is he really crazy. tiny? This is the studio. I don't know. I mean, the, um, this is where the magic happens. Those art mannequins, those uh, are normally not mannequins. that big, aren't they? Up at Amazon. No, they, they like can fit on my desk. I, on I don't know stages. where you'd get one these huge. Some works in progress it says on Amazon. On the mat. You can find anything on Amazon. Uh, hopefully, something will happen here in a second. For an artist, he has a really bad sense of that this is real how to decorate a house. To famous on the internet. Or hold a camera. <clears throat> it's like he's passing out. Falling asleep. Oh god, alright, no, I'm back. So, here's how the game works you walk around, you wait for something to pop out you and scare you, and then you go to bed before your battery runs out. If your battery runs out before you go to sleep, you die. He has a camera, isn't he? If he dies I when the battery runs out, he's this small, he's like a camera on little stilt legs. I think that he has the camera, like, directly built into his heart. Perfect time that might explain it, so when the battery song. runs out, he just dies. He's like a voyeuristic Tony Stark. <gasps> the car started. So, you're gonna see in a second here, the camera is gonna be swimming around. I'm not touching the mouse at all when that was happening. It's just when you see something scary, you go, whoa, whoa. This thing right here, I am pretty sure this is like a base model that comes with a few DK. Yeah, there's no way he made that himself. It's something you'd find like on the cover of a video card box. This is poison, isn't it? That is dog poison. <laughs> I, I I would not feel comfortable giving my dog a uh, something that has the tagline "All dogs go to heaven" and called ghostly bits. So this is the attic. Nothing happens in the attic until the last day. But this whole game is about wandering around and trying to find the next thing that's going to scare you. So just check it out. Like a reanimated Scooby Doo. Want his spooky snacks. <laughs> Notice kind of flash there when you came down the ladder. I think that's a spawn effect in UDK, like a default thing. Like if you're some multiplayer game or something, then you'd spawn in with that flash of light. So the I've heard that I've heard that flashlight sound effect over and over, like in a whole bunch of these UDK games. <laughs> Bad barrel. <laughs> Alright, let's be fair. This house is pretty fucking haunted. <laughs> haunted by this dog ghost. With the convenient hammer right by the grave. I don't want to know why the hammer is right by the dog grave. He doesn't have a shovel. It just took a while. Look how big this grass is, too. I don't understand the scale of anything, like, our guy is super tiny and so is the house, but the house is much bigger than the guy. It's like a dollhouse. I, this perk is my whole walking camera theory. I'm trying to turn the water off, but it's not going to let me until it fills up the entire sink. So day one's always pretty slow, you'll have those first few scares. 
Uh, but it's mainly just to let you get used to the house and get used to the fact that your battery life is about five minutes per day. That's a bit of a, that's a, bit of a waste of water. It fills up the sink, only to drain it. Drains fast, apparently, given the sound of it. Good pipes. Batteries are getting low. Nah, I'd better charge it when I go to bed tonight. <laughs> I'll, we will die soon, really. That's what that should say. So yeah, we really do have to get to bed fast, because that battery is going to die. It's a pretty shitty camera, then. Actually, I have a camera like that. It lasts two minutes and the battery dies. It's not a phone camera or anything, it's just a proper video camera. It, it's a flip. Granted, it's... Well, it's a flip, and they went out of business, didn't they? Yeah. So here's our Hall of Michael Jackson. And I'm pretty sure that other mural was a background for a Nirvana video or something. This guy really likes MTV. Can't use the Ouija board in day one, because we're not that haunted yet. Our haunted levels are... Hey, dead dog sculpture. Uh, let's just take that fish. <laughs> anyway, I don't think that... That dog doesn't show up because we checked out the dog grave or anything. That dog statue's always there. This guy's got problems. <laughs> this guy's got a really poor sense of decoration. I said it before, but... Well, never mind, like... Where am I going to put all these uh, posing mannequins I have? Oh, I don't know. Everywhere. So now we're getting into day two, which is thankfully more interesting. Shit actually happens now. Is the other fish back, or is it still gone? Uh, love to see. No, I don't pay enough attention to it. Right. I do like that you went to bed with the camera. So let's uh, take the key. And what key? Huh? <laughs> it's a button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that works or why that works. It, it is a literal button. He just didn't have it ready. He just has a shape like a key so he knows for a door. Not alone in this house. Right, if you want to read this whole thing, watching. pause the video because the battery drains while you're eating the baby. it. I'd never been and, you know, I don't want to die. Christ right now more than ever. Basically, blah, 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 Marcus. Yeah, dead baby womb. Kill me. Got it. Oh, hey. Hi, baby. Hi, 2D baby. Bye, 2D baby. You can tell the baby was pretty poorly cut out in Photoshop, too. You know how much money this game uh, was funded for? How much? Well, the asking... You know, what do you call it? The uh, asking amount for the game was $800. Uh, it made $8,000. $8,000. Yeah. And they charge... Oh, hello. Hi. What's up? Anyway, they charge ten dollars for this on Desura, which you're basically gonna see the entirety of this game over this LP. So, ten dollars is kind of highway robbery. Yeah, I guess mine might have just went to a commercial license for UDK because it doesn't look like it went to any development effort. Eight thousand dollars. I mean, good on him for making so much money, but... Oh. Man. Now you guys just hang out. Don't mind me. So let's look up the history of the house. I think we can do that now. Uh, let's see. Uh, built during a prohibition. Uh, a former sex slave was murdered in the cellar and her jaw and tongue was removed. Left alone bleeding to die. Uh, suicide. Found dead in the kitchen. Paled by pipes. You know, you should really... Look into your house's history before you buy the house. Yeah. You could have at least got it for a better price. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I've been looking around, but really, of this neighborhood, I have to ask have any sex slaves had their jaws torn out and bled to death in the basement? Any 
history of that. Do, do the chairs like go up on tables like it does like in Poltergeist? Uh, I guess. I've got the chairs weren't there yesterday. No, like that was a question he'd have to ask. Oh, okay. So we're taking a phone call and I can't hear it. I'll turn this way up in the uh, YouTube video, but I think it's just something like. I would have turned the volume up while I was listening to it, but this is one of those games that they would have just screamed at you at some random point. So I wasn't taking any fucking chances. I was glad it wasn't somebody. Uh, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, do you have Jesus in your life? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> Anyways. No, I can't take this seriously anymore. <laughs> you know, I swear I had nine mannequins. Where's that other Oh, there it is. Hi. Oh, God. So that safe back there that you may have seen before is pretty important. June 27th, 1983. Uh, Marcus came home from work today seeming really people flustered. People go crazy in this house, and and uh, eventually killed themselves. The okay. I was our first pet and together. they all seem to use the same typewriter in the same first, really poor journal format. I don't understand why Marcus has been so stressed lately. Yeah, and I gotta skip this pretty tough, soon because battery's not. If you sit and just <laughs> listen to him read the whole thing, you will die. <laughs> Wonderful feature. Oh, collectible. The reason we're picking up those things in, like, the fish is because they add to our trophies at the end of the game. And there's really no point to the trophies other than seeing that you got the trophies. I've also noticed a really lot amount, a really huge amount of bad art. Like there was a, a wolf in the moon. There was the stupid porcelain you know, cherub. This guy's not an artist, or if he is, he's like he, Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> he's got he's like a very bizarre Thomas Kincaid, like a burnt out one. This is David Duchovny as Thomas Kincaid. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's the first two days. So next time things get a little bit more interesting. See ya.